And then the one thing it's strangely related to that, the one thing you should do more of is give him more head. <laughs> what is up, Daddy Gang? It is your single father, Alex Cooper. Are you ready? We are back, baby. Here's the situation. Our teeth are a little purple because we're eating acai bowls. Or we're just having some morning wine. <laughs> you decide. We are going to throw Mr. Sexy Zoo Man a full party. Dude, this lighting is so bad. So, as I was saying, I'm moving this because we can't, we don't have good lighting. I told everyone on my podcast that the man that I've been seeing told me he's all in and that he's in love with me. I had to like take time to process because I'm a fucking psycho and like have problems and like whatever, but I'm like, I'm all in. I have decided. We are gonna go to the airport and we are going to pick up Mr. Sexy Zoom Man. He doesn't know I'm going to be picking him up. So that's the first step. When I get there, I'm going to have a sign and the sign is basically letting him know I'm in. He's gonna be so shocked. And then Lauren and I are bringing him back to his house and we are going to be setting up a rave, but a themed rave. I'm weird. And so I wanted to throw him a baby shower. <laughs> Dude, people are like, what is wrong with this girl? I wanted to throw him a baby shower because I think it's funny to be like, it's a girl. So we're throwing him a baby shower rave. Bottle service, streamers, strobe, strobe lights. lights, and it's gonna be baby themed. We are hot as club, get ready. Get, get ready, we're gonna be dressed as big babies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So right now we're on Amazon. It's a girl balloons. Play it. We should get a red carpet. Look at this VIP crowd control. Is that so ugly? Yeah, but it's perfect, I think. <laughs> Add to cart. Party accessory. Oh. Cutouts of paparazzi. We need a be sign that says VIP only. We need to get stamps so we can stamp, we can check his ID and stamp his hand. I think we should probably get two strobe lights. Strobe light. Giant like arm structure over the pool and having a disco ball like over the pool. There's gonna be three people at this point. <laughs> We're going okay. all out. We wanna put these like Balls in the pool. Glow stick. Boom. Add to cart. I'm Googling right now. Club bottle service. This is the vision I want happening. We need um, pacifiers. <laughs> oh, we should get a whole DJ stand and all DJ. A smoke machine. So cute. The tackier, the better. 100 pack. 100 pack. A reserve sign for the table. A VIP entrance stick. Decoration, girl banners. Welcome, it's a girl. This shit is gonna get shipped to our house and we're gonna be like, we just got home and let's just say that the baby shower rave has never been more in full effect. Is that the red carpet? Oh no, that's the other carpet. Lithium ion batteries in compliance with section two of whatever the fuck. Why do I think this is the fog machine? We've started to unbox all the baby shower rave shit. We have the It's a Girl balloons, the VIP stickers, inflatable party bath toy, iridescent red fringe curtain. This is a red carpet. VIP room, one of our disco ball light these are going in the pool they're like glow balls glow bracelet this week lauren and i are trying to get ready for his arrival listen you fucking slutty ass bitches oh wait what's that woman from cinderella story listen go to your room sam i am very 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 upset about this Anyways, whatever that actress's name is, shout out. The point is, is that a lot of people have made comments. Hey Al, hey Big Al, I would just die if I could, I don't know, just like take a brush and go through your eyelashes. They look so janky. Here's the thing, bitches. In Coronaville, I've been trying to avoid getting them done, but now salons are open, etc. And now I can have an eyelash woman come to my house legally and she's going to take off these caterpillars and she's gonna make me into a goddamn butterfly. The woman is here. We're ready. Look at this special treatment. I just get to lay on my bed. You have to fix your lashes now. You probably have like one dangling. I have like three. Oh, yeah. People were shitty on me. I'm like, okay, it's been a minute. <laughs> Let me get the light in it. Back up a little bit. Doing some movement. Really getting in there. Wow, thank you, Lauren. <laughs> You guys, I'm doing this with my eyes closed. <laughs> I just opened my vlog camera, turned it on, and did this with my <laughs> eyes closed. That's how you know I'm a real fucking vlogger. Let's We're looking see. great. We'll take a one from the top. Oh. <laughs> I love I can't see. <laughs> now you bitches cannot come for me anymore. Oh my so god, she's beautiful again. <laughs> so we did cat eye this time. 
Oh, I like this. Now you bitches can shut up. All the comments now say, goddamn, Alex, your eyelashes are so beauty queen. Thanks to this beautiful woman. The only place I've ever got my lashes done in LA and only will. So um, Lauren and I just went on a really unexpected shopping excursion. Excursion. We went on an excursion. Excursion. Who was? <laughs> what? Um, we went on an ex unexpected shopping spree. I took so much footage. Cue the footage that I took, Mackenzie. We're at Sephora. I just bought 19 beauty blenders. Well, you just never want to have the same one for too long. We're really stocking up. So I got a lot of beauty blenders. I got a bunch of shit at Sephora. More all-nighter spray, more dry shampoo, bronzer, foundation, concealer. Then I got a bunch of sweaters. Then I got a baller deals at Zara. Zara! <laughs> this teddy jacket, this like long. I got this thing for like $12, I think it was on sale. I don't know, oh wait, it was 19. She's like, I don't get why this is like $19. This is really expensive. And I was like, that's so crazy. Put it in. She was like, yeah, I got you. Like, I don't know, but it's marked to 19. So we're going to go with 19. So I'm currently sitting in my room right now because Lauren, Laren, also let me just clarify. Everyone that's like, hey, Big Al, what is Lauren's name? Is it, La look how I'm sweating. Her name is Lauren. Most people say the name Lauren, like Lauren, but it's spelled L-A-U-R. So Lar, Lauren, her name is Lauren, but in college people started calling her Laren, and so then we just started calling her Laren. So on a good day, she's Laren. On a bad day, fuck you bitch, you're Lauren. Basically what's happening right now is Lauren said that she wants to surprise me with something. She said, you know, you've been doing so much for me I want to do something for you and I said oh my god it better involve food and she knows me so I'm thinking a bitch is in the kitchen that's the one place I'm not allowed to go endless and Alex Cooper has no fucking issue not being able to go in the fucking kitchen baby I'm <laughs> fucking sitting here losing my mind and we're just waiting really just like lean the fuck in it's like really just like yeah like we fucking love our life and like look at these new shoes I got cute there she goes again can I come out of my room <laughs> Lauren, can I come out? <gasps> it smells so fucking good. Oh my god, look at this fucking angle. You get the asshole and you get the asshole. Oh, she's on one tonight, Paul. A little cutesy bootsy, cutesy bootsy, and then we're gonna round off back handspring into a little sexy Rexy. Are we ready? Okay. I just want to get out there. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever cooked in a kitchen before because I've never cooked in a kitchen before. I want to come out of my room. I'm trying to be respectful. Laren is in the kitchen where she belongs and I'm losing my fucking mind. What? 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I'll turn this back on when it's 30 seconds later. I can't keep doing this or I'm gonna lose all my subscribers. Goodbye. You ready? I prepared us a five course meal. We're gonna do a caviar, a caviar tasting. Give some caviar accompaniments, shrimp uh, cocktail, an iceberg wedge salad. I don't know what that is, but it has gold on it, chocolate covered strawberries, mashed potatoes, mushrooms, steak. I mean, steak accompaniments. This smells so fucking good. Lauren! Wait, this is so cute. Thank you. I want to do this for my Mr. Sexy Zoo Man. I'm starving. And pretend that I made this and lie to him. Start the relationship off on a lie. Hi, that. baby. I can cook. Hi, everyone. It's Marsha. Rebecca here. Um, Deandra speaking. Farquaad is over there. And we are about to get um, our spray tans. 
My lash lady came by, but she was in a rush yesterday. So now Lauren's about to get her lash too. <laughs> we can't even explain why you have a mask on. Anyways, don't focus on why Lauren has a mask on. It has something to do with something and it's funny. We'll explain one day. But <laughs> the point is, is that my lash woman is coming back to do Lauren's lashes. And she's also going to touch mine up a little bit because we didn't fully finish. And I want to do a little bit more of like a cat eye. So then she's doing her, dude, the way that you're laying with this. <laughs> Lauren and I also have our spray tan woman coming and I'm wearing a little baby bra thing that's just covering my nipples because Mr. Sexy Zoom Man likes, does not like when my um, nipples are spray tan. I'm going to spray my nipples. Yeah, and usually I would be like, <laughs> because he's coming home, I would want, I want him to be happy about my nipple situation and not be an asshole and like have him have to like eat spray tan. So that's where we're at and I will film a little bit of the spray tan, aka see when I'm naked. Guys, Lapita is back. Lauren is currently getting spray tan and I'm an idiot and I just fully got spray tan and I'm like, oh yeah, do my lashes. I just got a spray tan on my face. Please explain to me how she's gonna put the tape down. So we're gonna make it work. Lauren is out here getting sprayed. We're over here. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning. This is the day that we have been literally waiting for for so fucking long. Today, Lauren and I will be hosting a baby shower rave. We are now putting all of our stuff into our bags because we're heading over to Mr. Sexy Zoo Man's house to set up. We waited for him to get on the plane because he has security cameras all in his backyard. And we were like, oh my God, what if awkwardly we start it while he's still in the airport and he gets a notification that we're in his backyard and we're like holding up. Did you order the it's a girl balloon? Fuck! No. Okay, we're gonna go get balloons first, then we're heading over there. There's so much stuff. I'm so fucking excited. There's just so much that I feel like that's led up into this point. I'm just so excited. I feel like, I don't know, it's finally coming all together. Okay, we are on our way to the balloon store. It's like feeling more real now. Like, I'm so excited. I'm free, I'm like, whoa, baby shower rave, let's go. Lauren just found me a mom to be sash. Lauren and I are freaking out with the balloons in the back, and we were just like, I'm so excited. And we're gonna walk in and be like, okay, like, like let's just like, cause we're gonna get food on our way there. And we're like, let's just like quickly leave the food in here. We just wanna show you something. It's like little that we did for you. Fog machine! Cue the rave music. Lauren is setting up the DJ booth. I wanna really like make this super fun cause this is a fire pit. Totally DJ literally right there. And then we just have to like sort out all of this shit. We have all of this stuff, more stuff in here, back there, more shit. We literally just have all this shit. Boom. I literally think you should like stand up here. Oh, like that's my platform. Yeah. Crowd here. Oh yeah, singing to the crowd of the two people. Maybe we should take this and put that over there for bottle service. Boom, setting up the red carpet here. We have this VIP little entrance thing right here. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to do these glow ball things. Well, okay, whatever, pretend. Your table's ready, table three in the back right next to the DJ booth. <laughs> we hooked you up tonight. <laughs> Please disregard. We're going over. Why am I always dancing in the back? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm really sorry about the lack of baby shower rage, rage, rave, rage, rave footage. The sad thing was that we there's a third party involved in this rave, and it was Mr. Sexy Zoo Man and him having just gotten back from London, also him being a semi 
pretty private person. He was like, love you girls to death, but can we not film Cameras this? Cameras off, paparazzi. Yeah. And he was like, and knowing you drunk idiots, not only for the vlog, like you guys are so dumb that you would post something to social media and I'm like gonna be on your story. And like, I just wanna like have this be like a fun night for the three of us and not for the internet. And I was like, I don't know what that means <laughs> because I like just wanna vlog, but that's why we didn't have that much footage. Overall, it was the best fucking night. And I highly recommend anyone watching this Throw your friend a baby shower rave. Throw your boyfriend. Check out my uh, baby shower rave playlist. It's on Spotify. If you feel like you were more there. Boom. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little glimpses we gave you. It was fucking rager. Hi, guys. I was going to try to do the glasses look today to really just bring out that, like, sexual librarian. But also just more so to cover up that, like, I'm very hungover. So, basically, this morning, I was texting with Mike. Big Mike. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? You'll probably know who I'm talking about when I say Lana Rhodes. I met Mike before I met Lana, and then I met Lana, and I fell in love with Lana, and then I liked Lana more than Mike. <laughs> just kidding, but am I kidding? But we're gonna film something for his channel because I was saying that like, I just feel like I'm not really like eating good since coming to LA, and he was like, you know who I am? I'm basically a food monger of LA, and I was like, I didn't know that. Let's go hang out with Lana and Mike. Let's just talk the shit, and they're nice people to have in Los Angeles because I feel like they're both like really real people, which I do appreciate and we love. Um, Lana and Mike are late. I just texted them. I said, where the fuck are you? And this is what I got from Mike. Uh, I'm about to, about to pull up. About to pull up in like five minutes. Sorry, I'm making jokes here. I'm in the car. I'm pulling up. About to pull up on you. You heard me? You slutty ass bitchy. Look at this. Look at this. I said he didn't like my outfit. No, I did not. Use that light. That's no, right there. Yep. That. So sorry. So step back. <laughs> you. If you're. If you're looking for light, look where the light is blasting off the Guys, white house. Okay. What about this? This is the worst angle I've yeah, ever done. I will help you so much. Wait. Someone could sit on this. This is what we're doing. If you peep the charts this week, number one overall in every single category in the world, Alice Cooper's "I Have a Boyfriend" episode is number one. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And these people have been in a relationship for exactly a year. Exactly. Almost a year. exactly a year. Yeah. We've had a couple little hiccups but like other yeah. yeah so first question i had was are you even in a relationship right yes. now so you might be confused <laughs> lana texted me and was like alex i need your help i will pay you back i need your help i'm like oh my god like i feel so needed lana tells me that there is a man that follows me on social media he's an athlete and she wanted to get his attention but she knew that her dm was sliding into his like general and he wasn't seeing it and Wait, i was could you alex? give some context this was during one of our breakups oh sorry <laughs> so then i slide into this guy's DMs. I'm like, hey, like, the Lana Rhodes has been messaging you. And he's like, oh my God, like, thanks for the heads up. Then he messages you back. That was his response? He, was he wasn't, like, like, super amped? Oh, no, he, he was, no, he was amped. Nice. He was like, oh my gosh, like, thank you so much. Like, I didn't see that. Like, I'll message her back now. He had a girlfriend. So then I just got back together with my aunt. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Dude, now I guess he has a boyfriend. He has a boyfriend? He has a girlfriend! <laughs> I'm outing him! Damn! That story turned fucking quick. No! What can you guys tell me about relationships? What have you learned? Each of you give me one to do and one like con. Like what do you wish you didn't do to him and what have you done great for him? Less nagging. Less nagging. Mm -hmm. Talk with your actions instead. Like be distant, you know, if he doesn't do what you want. Right, no nagging. Anything. That's actually usually the reason why we break up if we have breakups because she starts causing trouble. It starts to interfere with my life or my work or whatever. And then we, and then I start being mean to her and then we fucking break yeah, up. So are you the simp? Cycle. Are you the simp? No. But damn, Roy, just <laughs> Dave, show, show David. Like, come on. David's the biggest simp. No, I'm stop. The simp. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah David, fight. you just relax. We're, we're going to get to you later. Honestly, staying independent because that's what I'm working on now is just being more independent from our relationship. Well, because you love being together, right? Yeah. I'm obsessed with being with him we have so much fun but Dude, then it's like you need a break well I, this is part of her advice but yes like too much of something can be a bad thing like mm -hmm. especially right off the bat like give him his space let mr. Him no mr sex demon noted for you okay. you need to give me space <laughs> who is he and does he live in la no matter what happens early in the relationship late in the relationship just don't fucking cheat it's the one thing that i say is so fucking hard to come back from and like i you know we had our little hiccup and we've done good but it's just really tough and then the one thing it's strangely related to that the one thing you should do more of is give him more head <laughs> because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be like i fuck my man all the time and you're gonna get lazy on the bjs and i'm telling you Go, go with Look at I, her face. She, she gave me time, head last night. One time Yo. we were breaking up, and his negotiation to get back together was that I give him head once a week. 
Wow. Once it, she usually was anyways, but we'd miss a week here and there, and I'm like, so we- Okay, how much do you eat her out? Never. Not never, Maybe not- like once every four months, two months. It's not- I don't, I don't, Okay, so the moral of the story is basically do nothing that you guys do. Really just focus on myself <laughs> and try to be the epitome of everything you're not. So you guys are back together. Yes. yes. No, we were only, we were broken up for like <laughs> three, days. three, four days. Three days, that's a tumultuous relationship. You guys go on and off all the time. So I'm trying to stick we're in so there. We're so toxic. But I don't want no, any no, break. We're not. not. We're not toxic, but the thing is like, if anybody's gonna run, like it's always, I just, my first instinct What's wrong with is you? to always run. I don't know, to be honest with Let's you. talk about it together so we can really get down to the roots of our issues, because I'm in the same boat. I'm already freaking out. I'm yeah, like, like I gotta go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so know. let's go eat food. Okay. I don't know. All right. So I, this whole time that you guys have seen me driving, I've been driving Mr. Sexy Zoom Man's car because he's been gone in London, was letting me borrow it until I got like a real car. And not to sound corny, but I'm so excited. I have never had a car in my entire life. I couldn't get one in high school. And to be able to like get my first car ever is like kind of the craziest thing. I just am so excited. So we're test driving right now. And I think I love this. I think this is the one, but it's just very exciting. I think this is the one guys. I can't believe I'm able to do this. This is wild. I remember being so jealous of this one girl. Like I went to a prep school and like all these girls were driving the nicest cars and like I couldn't afford a car. And so this girl would drive in with like her Maserati but I remember this one girl had this Porsche and I was so obsessed with it. And I was like, oh, I wish I could, like that would be my dream car. And now that I'm able to do this, it's like fucking weird as shit. Lit. Lit. Lady titty. Lady titty, baby. And don't worry, I will still be passenger seat always and Ubering everywhere. I'm your personal driver. Alex Cooper is my chauffeur. Wow, how did I get like so lucky that I have one of the hottest chauffeurs in all of LA? Mackenzie, good morning! Mackenzie, turn on the lights. <laughs> Mackenzie's our personal Alexa. Good morning, everyone. It's been quite a week of, you know, just water and healthy, no drinking. I woke up like this. <laughs> it's been a rough week, but we're going. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so this is where we're gonna close out the vlog. We're gonna go make some food. Well, you know, Lauren's gonna make <laughs> some food for the Super Bowl, and I decided that I'm gonna try to make some cupcakes. And we're gonna go to the grocery store right now with. I'm gonna make a lot of dips, Mackenzie. Q Rack City. Don't Q Rack City. Everyone in Q Rack City. Rack City, bitch. Rack, rack. Okay, Lauren's Dip City, bitch. Dip, dip, city, bitch. This is our menu for the day. Are you guys cue the, ready? Cue the menu, Mackenzie. Cue the menu, Mackenzie. Lobster rolls. Lobster rolls and Chinese chicken salads to start. 90 wings, original hot. Then we have like barbecue, boneless, salt and pepper, classic go-tos. Amazing, the whole thing. Lauren's making dips. I'm just making buffalo chicken dips. Yeah, because we got a little lazy with it today. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to kind of, you know. We have wings, burgers. And this will not be a party of three. This will be a party of four. <laughs> because somebody's bringing Lauren a friend to the Super Bowl! Touchdown, bitch. <laughs> okay, we're in the grocery store, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely like not my safe comfort zone, but I contributed these and ranch dressing. Oh yeah, thicker than a snicker. And then our wings and our lobster rolls and our salads and our nachos and our dips are all coming. One week later. The fact that this backyard still has baby, am I okay? <laughs> the fact that this backyard still has baby shit, we didn't take any of it down, but the baby shower is done. And now we're ready for the Super Bowl! World Series. World Series! Now, look how sad this is. Just about a week ago, we threw the hottest baby shower rave in all of LA, and now we're about to host the hottest Super Bowl party you've ever fucking seen, but you're not invited because three is a party. Four. Four. Oh my God, four. That's true. Oh my God. So Lauren has a quick date. Do you guys <laughs> do you think we're gonna make out? Um, I think Mr. Sexy Zoom Man told me I need to not be too crazy and go in with the assumption I'm gonna have sex. 
<laughs> Mr. Sexy Zoom in literally said to Lauren, maybe just like don't go in trying to fuck him so hard. And this will not be a party of three. This will be a party of four. <laughs> and just like have fun with it. Like relax. Like chill girl. Vibe. Chill girl. Like just maybe like enjoy the Super Bowl. Like the World Series is going to be popping. Like just like have fun. And Lauren was like, so I'm not supposed to try to fuck him. He's like, maybe at the end of the night. She's like, God damn it. One of the glow sticks kind of had had a little too much fun and now it's stuck in the uh, hot tub little thing. So look at this sexy bitch. Jump in for the vlog. <laughs> You're like, why would you put me on the spot like that? Mr. Sexy Zoom in was like, Lauren, you have to jump in and get all the shit on the bottom. Lauren's like, please leave me alone. Just get me a date so I can have sex. <laughs> Look at the bottom of this pool. Cash money and then, and then just like leftover, what are they called? Glow sticks. Glow sticks. And like a deflated little <laughs> poolie that was like for our drinks. Every single time we tried to use that, we had like big, like we were drinking like margaritas. margaritas. <laughs> Multiple times Mr. Sexy Zoom Man had been like, hey girls, like just watch out while we're in the hot tub. Like it's probably gonna spill. We spilled our drinks because these would topple over like this at least six times and our entire green margarita would just go into the hot tub and he's like i said that was gonna happen we're officially wrapping up this this is sad but honestly i kind of like it because if it was just like oh my god the baby shower rave is officially fucking over then yeah that would suck but we're like on to our next mission we're on to the super bowl and like that's fun let's throw this shit out